it really feels like a millennia since we had bad news for Xbox, right? And what better way to cover it, man? We got the homie Dreamcast guy. He is not leaving a chance. He went crazy tonight, man. We're gonna get into the video, but all I'm saying here is this. Whether you're a Sony pony, whether you're an Xbox Andy or normal PlayStation fan or normal Xbox fan, we deserve, you and I, all of us, we deserve our future generation. We all deserve free to play online. We deserve free to play online on PlayStation and Xbox, just like the PC Master is. We deserve it. We deserve it. No longer. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? <laughs> like the video if you agree with PlayStation and Xbox getting free to play online. Dislike the video if you think, no, we don't deserve it and we should ultimately pay to play online. Bruh. I want to know where you guys at. Roll it. What's up, Gamer? Dreamcast guy here, and today we're going to talk about the state of Xbox because okay. for the last 24 hours there have been some very strange rumors going around that apparently Xbox is trying not to advertise Game Pass. That <sighs> Microsoft is spending so many billions of dollars at this point on exclusives that aren't really making money or even generating that many Game Pass subscriptions. That it does sound like, according to these rumors, that Xbox and Game Pass. They're beginning to have a very odd split, but I want to talk what? about the source of this rumor, the talk about it, and just sort of discuss what I think is actually going on. Okay. I hope you're having a great day, and if you could please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, we need to first talk about the source and then explain some follow-up comments because the people that are kind of originating this have sort of halfway backtracked it. So this what? is the Iron Lords podcast. Uh, they, they, this is the Xbox uh, podcast, right? One of the Xbox podcasts? So it's coming from them, uh, Xbox uh, pa podcast guys. And on it a couple times myself, and a lot of these guys, extremely passionate gamers, and a lot of them are very Xbox focused. You can see Destin Legary, Paris Lilly, Lord Cognito, which is one of the hosts of it. So while they were talking, okay. Cog essentially said, hey, I was at Treyarch, one of the Activision studios that was bought by Xbox, and he said, while I was there, there was talks off the record that Xbox is not allowed to do a big marketing push for Call of Duty <gasps> launching into Xbox Game Pass, and Paris Lilly chimed in and said that he heard the same thing. No. Now, let's start off what? with the clarifications, because this on its- Hey, that, hey, 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 the brace, though. That don't even make sense, though. That don't even make sense, though. They did promote it. They did say that, uh, but okay, so the news is that Xbox is not allowed to do a big marketing push. I guess they didn't done a little push though, but they 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 they, they, yeah, yeah. they did confirm that it's coming on uh, Game Pass, right? So they did market it. Uh, but okay, let's keep on. Watch this it. is a very shocking statement. A lot of people have sort of been picking it apart. A lot of Xbox fans have basically been saying fake news. This sucks. Don't talk about it. So apparently there was some clarification. There was two follow-up tweets by Paris Lilly, and he said, "Okay, to be clear about this clip, what I heard was from other people at the event." and not Treyarch employees, so no one at Activision or Xbox has stated this to me directly. And the other thing he said, okay, what I was talking about when I said this stuff is off the record, is I mean, I'm not going to talk about my sources, I was just agreeing with Cog when he was talking about it. Now, the first impressions is a lot of people are initially just saying, this is an insane quote, just the idea of Xbox being told. It's almost like, so that's the homie Sony Pony MBG, it's almost like Microsoft would rather people buy their f games at full price. I wonder why. I mean, of course, like, like, duh, they would want people to spend full blown, uh, full price, like, and, and still buy Game Pass as well. Like, of course, of course, of course they would. Of course they would. But I guess uh, the, the reason is this, right? And, and guys, listen, this is something that was reported a while ago. This is not a rumor. Uh, apparently Xbox Game Pass is not making them enough money. That is true. That is true. So I, I, I understand why MBG is saying that. So that is true. That's what we heard. But immediately after purchasing, uh, purchasing Xbox Activision, they started making a lot of profit because of Call of Duty and other games that uh, that micro, uh, that Activision has. But primar primarily Call of Duty because you got Call of Duty Warzone. Free to play, very successful. You also got Call of Duty Mobile, and I guess you also got Call of Duty Warzone on mobile as well, right? And you got like how many Call of Duty games? You got dozens of Call of Duty games as well, plus these free to play Call of Duty games on top. So, and mobile, oh man, you cannot compete with that crap, okay? So they're making a lot of money, they're making more money than God, metaphorically speaking. 
but but yeah 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 so that's what we heard but game pass is not making too much money and uh, that's what we heard last time and now they have bumped up the price for game pass and they're putting call of duty on it so it remains to be seen if they pull up profit if they they, they make a lot of money with uh, having call of duty and game pass and with upped numbers or upped uh, price yeah that's a, that's a word let's see not to promote something going into game pass the first gut reaction is we know for a fact that's not quite true Xbox Game Pass is definitely not doing good. People aren't buying Xboxes in general, and it seems like people aren't subscribing to Game Pass just off the top. But to say they're not advertising it, I think that clearly isn't fully concrete. This is just a tweet here from, what, 10 days ago. 10 days ago, you can see this tweet where they're talking about the upcoming... Yeah, like, duh, they are. They are promoting it. They are promoting it. Maybe, maybe, maybe you want Phil Spencer to put it on his ass cheeks or something like that. Maybe that's gonna be promotion. Maybe that's gonna be promotion enough. Maybe Phil Spencer gonna put it on his ass cheeks. Maybe he gotta get a tattoo of it on his ass cheeks. Maybe that's what it is. Like the video if you agree. First party Xbox games coming to Game Pass. Uh, Doom the Dark Ages, Avowed, Indiana Jones, the DLC for uh, Starfield, and right there, Black Ops 6. Now, what this doesn't say is that there are multiple tiers now of Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, Obviously, yeah, yeah. the fact that you have to have the highest tier to actually get new games. I made videos about that. I still feel like the marketing of Xbox Game Pass has been terrible. I feel like the death of Xbox <laughs> is coming up very, very soon. But I do think... It does seem like, just in general, Microsoft is having a bit of a breakup with the Xbox brand. It does seem like... Now, eh, pump the brakes So I, I know this sounds like very, very meme uh, but because he's saying that with a straight face. <laughs> he's saying that with a straight face, and of course this is going to get Xbox Andy's big mad, okay? But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. We did... How many times we heard that this is going to kill Xbox or Xbox is dying? Uh, even if this is all true, I don't want to see it die. I don't want to see it be dead, though. Because that's... Uh, I don't have Xbox, by the way, okay? I don't have Xbox. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, uh, I have PC and PlayStation. That's it. That's it. Okay, and whenever PlayStation does something bad, we call them out. Like the Helldivers 2 situation, yeah, of course, bro. Like, we call them out. Whenever Xbox does something bad, we call them out as well. Simply put, like, all I'm saying here is that we, we deserve better. We deserve more. Gamers deserve more. Like the video if you agree with gamers getting free online for Xbox and PlayStation. I, I believe that. Absolutely, man. It's ludicrous. It's daytime. It's highway robbery. Like, we're paying for online. We pay for the internet. Then we buy the console. Then we pay for the online on the console. On the console to be able to play online. We, we buy the game. Okay, buying the game, understandable. But, but then the games are not even complete. You gotta buy the battle passes. Uh, okay, I mean, in a way, like, you buy the battle pass and it gives you the coins back, the in-game currency, and with that, you're gonna buy, like, the next battle pass and so forth and uh, so on and so forth. Okay, makes sense, but generally speaking, suck is when they see those uh, co coins, the in-game currency, they just spend it on, let's just say, uh... Right, so that happens. So people buy microtransactions and all that. And yes, how many games? How many times? Microtransactions overtake the game itself, where we have more microtransactions than the actual content. It's ludicrous, man. So it's highway robbery. And how many times games are coming out incomplete, full of politics, full of woke crap? Uh, uh, yeah, that, that part is also ongoing that's also you know how many times we're hearing that game went woke that game went woke that game being made gay and all that so we have been hearing all that it's crazy and then how many times we heard devs coming out publishers coming out and calling gamers toxic and problematic simply for asking for a good game if you ask for a good game or you ask for a game that's worth your money if you just ask that they're gonna label you toxic and problematic so yeah, man, it's a, it's ludicrous. It is ludicrous. But if Xbox seriously dies, then PlayStation we're gonna be left with PlayStation and Nintendo. Nintendo is is in its own race, so it doesn't really matter. But then you're gonna have PlayStation. They're gonna be dick riding the or dicking down the players. They're gonna be dicking down the players. Absolutely. So you need Xbox and you need PlayStation. Even if you don't like Xbox or you like Xbox or you don't like PlayStation or you like PlayStation, it don't really matter. We need both of them. We need both of them. Uh, we need competition because competition would create better games. 
right now i have to agree it is not true even competition is not <laughs> making these circuits make good games but i guess both of them are sucking ass right now like even xbox playstation don't even have any good games both of them don't have any good games playstation is still a little bit ahead when it comes to good games but guys like come on now man like you know back in the ps3 and xbox 360 days holy crap that was some of the best times to be alive best times to be a gamer bro that was the peak even PS4 and Xbox One era in terms of games, I'm not talking about Xbox One because Xbox One cons as a console wasn't good, objectively speaking, not even in my opinion, okay, objectively, but uh, but the era was still good, we were still getting good games on both Xbox and PlayStation, nowadays it's like, it's news fest, man. They're trying to find a way to get Game Pass to stay on its own, or trying to find a way to essentially bump up subs in a way they can actually advertise their current stuff without having extra hardware and all these extra strings to it. A lot of people are making fun of the fact that this off-the-record statement, the fact that they're talking about this stuff that's supposed to be so hush-hush, it just seems odd that, honestly, this experiment, I think, is going to be very, very do or die for Xbox. I think that Xbox is in a spot where... It's not just that they need growth. I think they need to actually manage to find a better. Microsoft isn't allowed to advertise and market Call of Duty Game Pass because of Sony. <laughs> fifty-six Metacritic score, thirty FPS. Oh, okay, so it's a repeat. So fifty-six, thirty FPS. Fifty-six, thirty FPS. Okay, I get it. Better, more I lucrative audience that will actually buy their games. I've seen a lot of Xbox people trying to claim that this is fake news. That they're mad. People are discussing COD and Game Pass or not discussing COD and Game Pass. I think that Call of Duty is one of the biggest companies on the planet. Call it of Duty is, is a brand, is. as a microtransaction machine, as a AAA $70 release. It generates billions and billions hmm. of dollars of profit, not just revenue. They generate Profits. billions of dollars of profit. Yeah. Trying to get- They're making crazy money. And on top, you add Call of Duty Online in it, Call of Duty Warzone, which is free to play, it's game over. Yeah, they're making crazy money. Three, four billion easy within three months. Oh, How do I know this? They announced that crap during their investor call. So three, last time I checked and that was a while ago. I wouldn't be shocked if they are now making five billion dollars a quarter. These suck is crazy, man. I, I swear to God, these suckers are crazy, man. Can a brother get two pennies? Yo, two penny gang, rise up, man. People Where the two penny just gang at? subscribe to Game Pass instead of actually buying a copy of the game. I think that if this does not majorly increase the total amounts of people sub to game pass for a long term not just for one month if this actually just flatlines the growth if they don't actually get a huge chunk of millions of new people buying game pass i think this is the death of game pass i think it's the death of xbox so this rumor it, it's obviously a little bit off in that you know uh treyarch isn't talking about the fact that they're not allowed to talk about game pass i think it is the sentiment that game pass is not the money maker that clearly xbox wanted i saw this article going around and it's very crazy the microsoft ceo satya natalia talks about the fact that they're trying to make uh, it's not satya nutella bro it's satya nadella bruh <laughs> like damn <laughs> no I, i'm joking around i always call him satya nutella I, I don't know why nutella no nah, nadella nadella my bad uh, no disrespect though. The real goal here is to be able to take a broad set of content to more users in more places. Okay. Like a broader content slate. We're trying to reach more users in more places. Uh. So it does sound like we're going to keep getting a lot of Xbox games onto PS5, onto PC. And there's already some leaks and rumors apparently that the next Nintendo Switch is going to be a lot more beefy. It's a straight upgrade of the current Nintendo Switch. And when that comes out, I think it's pretty obvious that a lot of those games are also going to be coming to Xbox, or sorry, <laughs> a lot of Xbox games are going to be coming to the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. think about the amount of these games that are also already coming to PlayStation 5. Diablo 5's expansion, or sorry, Diablo 4's DLC is coming to PS5. There's rumors of- Yo, is that true? Microsoft Flight Simulator is coming, uh... Is that a new game? What? Oh shit! Yo, I love Flight. I love Flight Simulator, man. I, I do, I do, I do love it. I do love it, guys. I, I ain't even joking. I got it on PC and I love it, bro. It's really, really good. It's really good because I'm a, I'm a big fan of aviation, man. I'm a big, big fan of planes, man. Not those kind of planes, but, but I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the real life planes. All right, come on, or real life bigger, bigger planes. Okay, bigger planes. That sounded kind of different, but. Uh, I'm talking about the planes that you fly, actually, okay? So that those are the planes I'm talking yeah. about. But I love it. I love it. So is this a new game or does this mean that it's coming on PlayStation? Oh, I would love if it comes on PlayStation because I got RTX 3090, not trying to flex, but what I'm trying to say here is that even when I play Flight Simulator at 1080p, of course, like ultra settings, I keep it ultra, 60 FPS, I max cap at 
bruh. And, and ultra settings and 1080p. Bro, the game lags, bro. The game lags. <laughs> what? You say it's crazy? Bro, I got RTX 3090. Ryzen uh, 3900X. Of course, the CPU isn't the latest, but I mean, damn, homie. And I got 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. I mean, damn, homie. So you're saying that I cannot play the game at 1080p? 60 FPS? Ultra settings? What are we talking about, man? I'm not even asking for 4K. I'm not even asking for 100 or 240 FPS like a normal PC Master Race guy would ask. I'm just saying 1080, 60 FPS. That's it. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man. I just want games at 1080, 60 FPS and good quality, good gameplay, good story. That's it. I'm a simple guy. But even then, the game kind of lags. So if it comes on PlayStation, of course, I suppose it's not going to be ultra settings. But I suppose it's going to be 60 FPS native, though. Uh, and uh, the gameplay is not going to stutter. And, and those of you that play on f uh, that that have flight simulator on Xbox, is it on Xbox? I suppose it is, right? I, I could be wrong. But uh, if you have flight simulator on Xbox, does it lag or not? If it does not lag, then chances are it won't lag uh, on PlayStation either. Okay, I, I want this game. Forget about everything else. I want flight simulator on PlayStation, bro. Starfield coming to PS5. Doom is officially announced for PS5. Black Ops 6 is coming to PS5. My point is the fact that. The death of Xbox and the death of Game Pass are two very separate entities. And I feel like it's coming up very, very soon because of just a lack of hype. And I do feel like if Call of Duty is not able to bump the needle, if Call of Duty is not able to dramatically increase the amount of total concurrent people with Game Pass subscriptions, they're going to just cut and run. I think that Microsoft is going to go, okay, screw the Xbox brand, screw all this, just sell the games. Just get people to buy the games for $70 and screw all that extra extraneous gobbledygook. I Pump the brakes though. Now that is true though. Like this is something that we talked about. Take Two Boss did say that putting GTA 6 on Game Pass would not be rational. And he was calling out Phil Spencer. He was saying, like, he's stupid, though. He's loco. He's stupid. He was uh, yeah. indirectly saying that. And, and that was wild, bro. That was crazy. Uh, Take Two Boss allegedly, uh, you know, calling out Phil Spencer indirectly. Indirectly. Not rational. It's, in other words, stupid. Loco, okay? Uh, puta madre. And he, it was crazy. It was crazy. But what, what I was going to say here is that I don't think Xbox will get rid of Game Pass right uh, and this is something that has been ongoing this is a rumor that has been ongoing and ongoing that eventually microsoft will get rid of xbox and this rumor is supported by because microsoft recently also changed the wording if i'm not sure if you heard about it or seen it but uh in some aspects at least on the internet right we saw them take it as a rumor because it's a rumor uh instead of calling it xbox game pass they were calling it microsoft game pass so they were trying to ultimately remove the wording of xbox i'm not sure if that is still true or not but a couple of months ago when we were seeing that and hearing that a lot of people were like yeah that said they're gonna they're trying to get rid of xbox now i do think that if like worst case scenario right i can see them continuing game pass but not necessarily xbox they would try to put a game pass on every platform they can that would allow them and just become a publisher microsoft as a publisher of releasing video games just like how activision is a publisher or oh, uh, and treyarch is a dev team and microsoft got like what so many dev teams like bethesda yeah if for example bethesda would be a dev team and microsoft would be a publisher i can see them do that uh, but what he what this gentleman is suggesting is like getting rid of game pass I don't know, man. Uh, seriously, though, nobody knows what exactly is going to happen. Like, y we can sit here, we can talk about these rumors and say, like, Xbox is going to end, or Game Pass is going to end, or both of them going to end, or both of them going to stay. Uh, yeah, that that's like, you know, it, it, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Like, nobody knows what's going to happen. I truly hope that Xbox don't go out of business. I want them to succeed, and I really hope they, they, they kill it too, man, because uh, we definitely need competition, and I hope, like, Xbox starts to put out good games, so PlayStation looks at them and they're like, oh shit, if we don't put out good games, we're losing. We need to be putting out good games too. And then guess what happens? Both sides are happy. And on top, we get some of this drama content too. Then we're gonna have like Sony Ponies uh, content, Xbox Andy's content. Yeah, I love that, man. I love it when people sometimes get mad, bro. Yeah. Yeah, over, over consoles. Oh, hell yeah, I love it. I know it's petty though. It's pathetic though. Uh, I hate it when suckers uh, act like somebody uh, insulted their mom. When it gets to that level, 
of pettiness, then it's ridiculous. But I mean, banter, memes, amazing. I love it. People love it. We need that banter, okay? Especially in current times, <laughs> right? We need some memes, okay? Yeah, absolutely love it. But I don't want to see like Xbox running out of business, but... I was thinking about this while actually scripting this video out, which was this tweet that went out over the weekend. Actually, wait, this this is like a rewriting of it. This this went out over the weekend originally, but uh, Strauss Zelnick, the head of Take-Two, the guy who's directly in charge of GTA 6, uh, he talked about the fact that he just feels like there's no way that Black Ops is really going to be a success on Game Pass. He said, <sighs> yeah, it will drive interest to the surface for at least a period of time. But he said, I think that offering a frontline title with a premium title, uh, pr premium price in a subscription service day and date will push consumers to that subscription service for at least a period of time. But he essentially goes on to say that they're not going to put GTA 6 or any of their games into Game Pass because, no, it doesn't affect their decisions because we are rational. I mean, he's literally saying the guy who is directly in charge of GTA 6 is strength, just <laughs> in no uncertain terms, putting Call of Duty into Game Pass is irrational. I mean, he's just... It is crazy, like... <laughs> you straw selling really? Well, like, because we are rational. This guy... Oh, no, that's a friendly... A friendly not talking about friendly UAV online. Oh, yeah. This guy gaming for everyone, man. He loco. He is stupid. That's what he essentially said. He said irrational. That is crazy, man. That is crazy. I understand why he said that, but like, damn, homie. Saying straight up putting your big expensive stuff that's supposed to make cash into a subscription service. Damn, homie. It's by design not going to make as much cash. But, but here's the thing, though, like... You know, if they don't put it on Game Pass, then people are gonna call them out. I guess the problem is that initially they did say all the games are gonna, all the exclusives gonna go day one on Game Pass. So in a way, they kind of shot themselves on the foot, right? Because I remember when there were rumors that Call of Duty might not come on Game Pass. A lot of people were cr going crazy, especially Dreamcast guy who was calling out Xbox like, yeah, 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 they're, they're not gonna put Call of Duty on Game Pass. And rightfully so, because I, I don't, I'm not blaming people. I'm not blaming Dreamcast guy. Xbox themselves said that all the games are gonna come day one. So if they're not gonna do it, then surely people are gonna call them out. Of course, like, duh. Of course people are gonna call them out. And understandably, people are gonna call them out. So they really are in a tough position. A and uh, I guess this is gonna be their experiment. And if they don't succeed, I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess uh, we're gonna find out. If it succeeds, I guess they're gonna continue to do what they're doing right now. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be good. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts. Check out this video on the screen. We recently had a ton of drama, man, because they are trying to sweet baby ink. They're trying to cancel Black Myth Wukong. IGN is not happy about it. They're also trying to cancel this game. It is ludicrous right now. Check out this video on the screen and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.